Alright, so welcome to part 2 of our series on 3D figures. Um, we're talking about calculating surface area today, and we're actually going to use the exact same figure that we looked at yesterday. Um, so, I'm going to take you back to Geometer Sketchpad, and we're going to work this out. So let's take a look. Okay, so here we are back in Geometry Sketchpad. We're looking at the, uh, the three-dimensional figure that we built in the last webisode. Um, and what I've done is I've gone ahead and uh, I've sort of taken the liberty of doing step one, which is identifying and labeling all the congruent faces. So what I've done is I've done that with, uh, just with color, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna call the yellow one side A, the black one side B, and the white one side C. Okay, so we need to sort of remember all that stuff. So I'm going to add in the, uh, the grid points here again, just so that we can help measure it out, because remember it's one centimeter. So we're going to start with side A. Remember step one was identify all the congruent faces. Step two is to calculate the area of each individual face and then add them together. So we're going to start with side A, which is the yellow one. And we're going to use our memories to remember what the areas are here. So we have a base of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we have a height of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Remember our formula for area is base times height, so we're going to go 5 times 6, which gives us 30. See, there's two yellow ones, so we have to multiply that 30 times 2, so that gives us 60 centimeters squared for side A. Now we're going to do side B, which is the black one. So we calculate our base, 1, 2, 3, 4, times our height, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, so 4 times 6 is 24. Multiply 24 times 2, because there's two of them, and that gives us 48. So, so far we have 60 plus 48, which gives us 108. All right, now side C, our base is 1, 2, 3, 4 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is our height. Okay, so multiply that together. Side C equals 20 centimeters, but there's two of them, so we multiply them together, gives us 40. Okay, so we add that 40 to our 108, and that takes us to step 3. Add together all the areas of all the sides, and that's going to give you the total surface area of our three dimensional figure which is 148 centimeters squared. All right, and that's about it. Okay, so there we go. First, uh, my first two parter under my belt there. Hope you enjoyed. Most importantly, I hope it helped. Um, I know this stuff can be confusing. I know I would say it's a matter of organizing yourself. That's really what you need to do. If you need help organizing yourself when it comes to answering these questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Alright? Hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Have a great day, and I'll see you in class later today.